Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome to Arcane Adventures SMP Season 0, Episode 5. Um, and today we are going to be diving in. We are going to be working on the geode area that we talked about a couple episodes ago. We're finally going to start working on that. Um, and it's going to be the power source for the wizard tower. Um, and besides that, we're also going to learn what the mega base is going to be today. So without further ado, I'm going to dive in and we're going to start working on these builds. I'm going to do some farming first and then we'll be able to get in and start working on the build here as well. Got them potatoes, melons, wheat, cows, as you can see, I also collected some sheep on live stream, so I have a few now. Um, I just breeded them up as well, and I'm going to get a bunch of different colored wool here as well, which hopefully we'll be able to use in the mega base we're going to talk about later. Sugarcane and some honeycomb. Oh, we got a little bit there. This stuff's going to be super important for later. I also have a request to make some candles for the bee shop, so we're going to also include some candles as one of the things we sell in the bee shop, in the bee's knees. Um, so i got to start working on gathering some string as well. So we have some pretty good farms out here, but I didn't think that it was enough. Um, and so on stream, I stream at twitch.tv slash ericmaster28. Um, that's where I do some of the content for this series as well. Um, I went down here and I built a big farming area. So we have some wheat, some potatoes. Um, over here we've got melons. Um, I have chests for everything over here. As you can see, we've been collecting a lot of this stuff. Um, and then we got the wheat over here. Over here I made an automatic sugarcane farm on stream as well. Um, and that's been producing a little bit of sugarcane here, um, just in case we need it in the future as well. So I've been doing a bunch of stuff on stream. This little farm area is one of the things that I was doing as well. We're going to make this prettier later on. Um, I just wanted to make sure we had the farm started so that we can actually work on those um, and get those resources. Small little detail I did up here on the hill as well as I made our little infinite water source a little pond here. Um, so we got a little pond. I hopefully want to get a fish to put in here. I'm going to find a fish to put in here, but we have our path blocks and then a little pond here as well. So I was swimming around. I'm looking for a fish, and I found a bunch of stuff in this area. So I put it all. I don't know whose it was, um, but I threw all the stuff in here. Uh, so all of that person's stuff is now in this chest where they died. Um, it looked like the chunks hadn't been loaded or something, and so um, their stuff was all still here. So I put it in this chest. Um, hopefully they'll find that, but I'm going to keep potentially looking for a fish. If I don't find one in this lake, though, um, I'm going to head back home. All right, it's time to build the power generator in the geode that we're going to be dealing with, and that's going to be powering our mega base and our wizard tower. Um, so I've got a bunch of materials here. i got some wood, deep slate cobblestone, and then the amethyst, which is the really important part. Um, and we are going to go ahead and start building. I'm going to do a time lapse for you here so you can see the whole build go. Um, I'm super excited, and I'm going to kind of wing it as we go. So we'll see how it goes, but let's get building.
Alright everybody, so I know it isn't much, it's not like a crazy build, but what I was going for is kind of like a little mine, so I actually, I harvested all the amethyst as well, so I have so many amethyst shards, which is awesome. But we've got some little platforms here to mine the amethyst, the idea was we've got like a little mine over here, and then a little research area over here, so we've got our crafting table, our furnaces, a little chest just in case. This is like the research area, and then over here we have our mine, I tried to texture the walls a little bit with the uh, cobblestone, and then I left the big calcite. Um, patches and stuff from the geode to make it look like we're actually like in a geode kind of thing. Um, and then we have all our amethyst. I put a couple amethyst little chunks around here too um, to make it look like they're kind of storing some of it as well. But you can climb up these ladders here and when you climb up the ladder you're actually able to reach these other ones and harvest them which is great because then I can actually go and harvest the amethyst when I need it. But that is because our wizard tower works with like runs off amethyst. Amethyst is the power for our wizard tower, which leads us into what our mega base is going to be. All right, everybody. So the big question here is what is the mega base going to be? We've got the wizard tower over here. We've got our farms and everything. We've been gathering some resources. So what are we going to do with all of this? What's the mega base going to be? Well, I have been working on getting an area ready for that. I did this on stream. And so if we flip around, we've actually got a big open area over here. This is going to be our base location. Um, so I'm going to flip out here. we got a big open area here. I've gathered some materials. we got a bunch of wood, some cobblestone and deep plate and stuff, and this copper. I'm going to need a bunch more copper, but this is going to be very important. got my stone cutter and crafting table ready, but this area is where we're going to build our mega base. And what is our mega base going to be? I'm going to take a step back for that. We are going to have a floating castle right here. So that's why we need all the power from the amethyst. The wizard tower is powering the castle to float into the air. So we're going to build a little landmass right here, a little chunk. And then with that chunk, we're actually going to dig out. This is going to be the center of where it is. This right here, this copper block, um, which I've already waxed and everything. That's why we need all of that honeycomb here um, because we're going to be waxing the copper. So it stays this nice original copper color. But... Um, this whole area, we're going to dig a big hole here, and then there's going to be the big floating castle up here. And then, so the castle is going to be floating here. We'll have a couple towers coming off the sides, maybe a couple little floating areas over here and here, just like add to it. But besides just the floating castle, I added over here a little dock into this lake. And I was thinking we could have a little lakeside town here as well. So just a couple little houses running along this way that would be our lakeside town under the floating castle and I think that would look super cool um, so if we have a little town here I'm going to detail that little bunker to make it look like it's part of the town then we've got our dock and then we'll have our mega floating castle right here so this is my first like mega base that I'm going to be building so it's not going to be that big um, I'm calling it a mega base because it's going to be mega for me um, but I think it's going to look super cool right here we're going to have a giant floating castle and that's what I've been gathering all of these materials for so I am going to start working on that on streams and in videos we're going to try to get a little bit of it done right now just kind of start digging out the hole and everything so you can see where it's going to go all right, I am going to grab a couple shovels here and a couple picks, and we're going to start digging a hole. All right, behind me, everyone, we have a big hole. <laughs> I do need to do more digging in here. I'm going to make the hole look a little prettier, and I'm going to dig out more of the stone so it also comes down to a peak more. Um, but this is the hole that we're going to have for the where our base has been lifted out of the ground into the air up here. Um, so I'm super excited about this over here. 
Um, we're probably going to start working more on the base in live streams and stuff, and then we're also going to get it in the next couple episodes here too. But that's all I've got time for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. If you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe for more episodes of the Arcane Adventures SMP here in the future. Let me know how you like the time lapses. I really enjoy doing them. I think they're super fun. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next episode.